<laughs> I've been, I've worked like, uh, I've worked as a salesperson in, in, in high-end retail, and then I was a host at a restaurant in Los Angeles. And let me tell you, like, I've, like, never been treated more like garbage as a host at a restaurant. Like, I was used to, like, helping, like, all these, like, crazy um, uh, high-maintenance customers in high-end retail, but, like, when you work at a restaurant and you're dealing with people who are hungry and want their food, like, they will scream at your face, like, with no problem. I don't want to open up uh, any, any old wounds here, but what's, uh, the, what's, the worst mem- what's the worst thing you could share that you remember? Is there a moment from that moment, a dark moment in time that somebody was so mean to you? Well, it's L.A., so I got a lot of, like, do you know who I am? Uh, I'm like, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm best like, response. Yes, I don't. <laughs> Um, you know, congratulations on your one line that you did on whatever, CSI. Um, but I don't have a table for you. Uh, um, yeah, people would just, like, really scream at you if you didn't have, or, like, they didn't have a reservation. They'd be like, well, I should just get a table. I'm like, do you see one? Because if you can see a table that's open, I will give it to you. Um, yeah, people are just mean. People are mean. Yeah. People are mean, and I would never in a million years, especially coming from that world, assume you would behave in that way, but have you ever felt close to it? Have you ever felt pushed by society, like a moment in time where you're like, uh, in a second, I'm going to have to tell them I was in crazy oh, occasions. It, like, here's, have you no, have, but here's the thing. So I worked in customer service, yeah. and so I understand. Listen, I understand that there are like really shitty customers out yeah. there, and, and people have tempers and whatnot, but I also understand what the job is and how to do the job. So when I encounter somebody who cannot do the job properly, then I get really pissed. (laughs) Then I'm like, okay, let me do it. Then then actually, like, I go to Twitter and I'm just like, these motherfuckers. (laughs) I had to drag Uber one time. Really? I did, because I got, like, I was a victim of vomit fraud, you guys. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. You go on. I am throwing out the cards, and we're only talking (laughs) about this experience. Oh, my God. I had this whole talk just become, like, beware of vomit fraud. Basically, these uh, these people, like, um, just scam you and, like, say that you you puked in their car when you didn't. And they have pictures. They have fake pictures. No. Yes. But listen, I will say Uber resolved it after I dragged them on Twitter. Um, That's insane. Real yeah. quick, anyone show of hands had this? Ha- one person? Two? Two people? Yeah. I got that email saying, we've adjusted your affair. I'm like, adjusted my affair? Okay. What happened? And then, and so how far did you have? Like, how, at what point did, did they go, oh, obviously you didn't vomit in this car? Well, I like, spoke. Did, I was, I was uh, corresponding with two different customer service people who yeah. refused to fix the problem and then showed me, like, you, there's pictures of you puking. I'm like... This was a. Uh, I, I took a ride to work at six o'clock in the morning. I can assure you, I did not puke. Yeah. Uh, um, it wasn't like a two a.m. You know, at the clubs or anything like that. Um, I was on my way to work, and uh, yeah, they refused to fix the problem. What a weird world we live in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that is something that I, that is that is fascinating. Yeah. Thank you for opening my eyes. I to have that. a short fuse when it comes to customer service, actually, because I, get I know that. you know. Yeah. yeah. 